Hello guys and welcome to another David Zimaleta. In today's video, me and my son Kevin, we will show you how to pull fuel injectors from 2007 Sprinters and up from a 2.0 liter diesel engine and any injector that actually looks alike. It's a little bit differently to pull them than it is T1Ns for instance because the fuel injector looks different and you will see why. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. So guys, before we begin, I want to show you the tool we're going to be using today. We're going to be using this tool. This is a hammer pulling tool for pulling fuel injectors and anything else. And this is for pulling T1N fuel injectors. It's shaped the same way as the cylinder and stuff like that. So on this one, it looks different because it is different. So let's go ahead and actually do this. So right. first, we're going to pull this injector number one. Yeah. So they go by one, two, three four, five, six from the front of the engine. So we're gonna install this here and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I know how to do it. It's like boom, okay. like boom. Like so that. hold on, let's let's do this. One, two, so basically look, it already came out. Look how easy that is. So, easy piece, lemon squeezy. you wanna go ahead and actually remove that injector? Do you know how to twist it off? Nope, you tighten it. Injector's tight. Well, that's a weird thing. It is. It's really weird how the fuel injector got stuck down there. Well, it's 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 fine. So, so here, Kevin, put this in a correct hole on the table. We got to show the viewers why we're doing it this way. All right, this is where the fuel injector has to go. This is a fuel injector number one. This is number one hole. And we already used it, and this is number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Oh, good job! You remember it good. Okay. Yeah. So, Kevin, you want to pull injector number two? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that one's loose already. Yeah. Good. Man, you're quick. Give me five. So, let's do that one. All right, that's, that's not going anywhere. So, you want to install it? So, first you have to install it. Man, you got it! All right. So we're gonna go ahead and actually put that in there. And I'm gonna put another one. So which injector are you gonna pull? Injector number four? Yeah. So you gotta put it straight, like that. Yeah. And you have to put it good, like you just can't have it on the edge. Yeah, like that, that's enough. Good. I like just got two. And the number, and we just got a number five here. Yeah, that's a number five. That was tight. It's a little tight, huh? That's Whoa. I just almost dropped that. You don't want to drop injectors, that, they will mess up. And that's number six. Exactly, Jason, you've been paying attention. Good okay. job. So one thing you don't want to do is drop them, okay? Got to be very, very careful. So they're oily. These injectors are very, very dirty. It does not mean that they're bad, it's, but it's they're not, oily. Yeah, they're oily because they just have all the oil in there. Maybe so, this engine had a hydro lock. So basically, this is that. So we pulled the fuel injectors. We are done. But now we're going to pull glow plugs glow plugs i know exactly what you're gonna use about that well that's a glow plug polar tool yes uh this is for if you break the glow plugs hopefully we don't break any glow plugs because yeah. we're not doing a video right now on broken glow plugs but in case we break one we have the kit to take it out so kevin that's a, that's a different kit eat, eat, eat. let's just put this away there's only just one thing that, that just went out there, maybe this thing, or maybe that's 